Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Um, it is, what day? It's, it's uh, Friday, November 20th right now, early in the morning here in Texas. Um, just got done watching that uh, Oshaki Forster fight. Uh, really, really, really good. Really impressive stuff by Oshaki Forster and taking out a uh, Mexican legend, tough guy, uh, brawler Miguel uh, Mickey Roman in nine rounds. Um that was good stuff from Oshaki Foster. Um, we can do a show on him, I think. He, he's an interesting case. Uh, but today's show is uh, we wanted. I wanted to do one um, on, on Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence um, negotiations, the splits, the infamous now infamous tweet of Crawford saying the fight's never going to happen. Um, apparently, that's uh, you know in in reference to saying he's not going to get a fifty fifty split. Um, Uh, but it's the best fight that can be made in the entire sport. Uh, I, I've been asking for this fight since 2017. You know, I don't know if we ever get it. it it's been going on now. it would be the fight I've asked to see in 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, and 2021. I don't know if we're going to get this fight. I want it more than any fight in the sport. If I can make just one fight in all of boxing, it'd be Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence. So I want to preface this, all of this, with that. Um, that being said, Terrence Crawford's not getting 50, 50. And I, and I want to get into Terrence Crawford. So he's done two pay-per-views. Victor, uh, Victor, uh, Victor Postal did 50,000 and Amir Khan did 150. That's 200,000 total pay-per-view sales. He does great television ratings. He does better television ratings than Spence does. He doesn't sell pay-per-views. Obviously a Crawford Spence fight would be on pay-per-view. Therefore, Crawford doesn't get a 50-50 split because he doesn't sell pay-per-views. Spence does, and we'll get into that in just a bit. It doesn't matter that Crawford's the more accomplished fighter. It doesn't matter that Crawford's rated higher pound for pound. It doesn't matter that I'd pick Crawford to win the fight. None of that matters. It doesn't matter that Crawford would likely be the betting favorite. That doesn't matter. What matters is how many pay-per-views you can sell. Earl Spence has proven he can sell more. Um, so, for that reason... Terrence Crawford's not getting a 50% split. He's certainly not getting the lion's share. Remember, 150,000 pay per view against Khan early in his career, Victor, uh, Victor Postal, 50,000. 200,000 total pay per view uh, buys in two fights. That's an average of 100,000. In two fights, Errol Spence has done two pay in the two pay per views that Errol Spence has done. He's done one with Mikey Garcia, 360,000 pay per views. Okay, that's already almost double what Crawford did in both of his pay-per-views combined. And then Porter, 300,000. So that's 660,000 pay-per-view sales, sales, as opposed to Terrence Crawford, who's done 200. 150 and 50, 200 pay-per-view. Okay, um, 660 in two pay-per-views versus 200. Let me ask you this question. If you had a sales job and you were splitting up commission and one guy sold $200 worth of merchandise and you sold $660 worth of merchandise or well, let's some guy sold 200 units 
at price X and you sold 660 units at price X. Would you want to split the commissions with that guy 50-50? Answer that question. If somebody sold 660 units at price X and somebody else sold them at 200 uh, so it's 200, uh, 200 units at price X. Would you think that they should split the revenue? Of course not. The guy that sells should make the money. To the victor goes the spoils. And the victor's not the winner. Right? And I know each guy's both undefeated. They both won all their fights. But that's not what I'm saying. Spence sells more pay-per-views. He doesn't split 50-50 with Crawford. On top of that, he's got better options. He can easily make a fight with Thurman. He can easily make it easier, more easily, make a fight with Manny Pacquiao. It's easier for him to make a fight. Crawford, we don't know where he's going to end up promotionally. Um, if he goes to BBC, that's going to help his cause. He's still not getting 50-50, but he will be in a better position to negotiate. If he stays at the top right now, Bob Aram has sent mixed messages. He said that they were close to getting a uh, Manny Pacquiao fight before the pandemic hit, Right. And that they were going to resume negotiations if Terrence won. Well, Terrence obviously won. So that means they were going to re resume negotiations. But then he said that they were done and that he could have bought a house in Beverly Hills or, or Malibu or whatever um, for the amount of money that he's lost promoting Terrence Crawford. And that Terrence Crawford doesn't promote himself, which is weird because that's what Terrence Crawford pays you to do. Um, so you, you've you failed Terrence Crawford. So why would Terrence Crawford resign with you? Well, the only way that he would resign with you is if you could get him the Pacquiao rematch, which, I mean, the Pacquiao fight, I'm sorry, rematch, the Pacquiao fight, which you couldn't deliver for him when he, when y'all were both with top rank. So how are you going to deliver that for him now? I mean, maybe you can. Stranger things have happened. We've just seen Canelo fighting his next fight with on the zone. So, I mean, stranger things do happen, but it doesn't. that doesn't seem realistic that he's that they're going to get him that fight, although I don't know. I, I, I don't know, an unnamed Middle Eastern country for undisclosed persons. I, I don't know. It, that doesn't seem realistic to me. Um, and, and Which means, does he sign with PBC? One fight, two fight, three fight, long term? I don't know. Um, it's Terrence Crawford. He's kind of an enigma. We don't really know what he's going to sell or what he's going to do. I mean, what he's going to do, where he's going to sign. It would make the most sense for him to sign with PBC, but he thought he'd sign with Top Rank, and he had fought PBC fighters in the past. Felix Diaz and other names. Um, and it wasn't a problem. This didn't happen. They, they couldn't get him at any of the fights. Although it seems like um, Terrence, uh, Terrence Crawford got called up by both um, Sean Porter and Keith Thurman, both wanting to fight him, and he had no interest. Or I don't want to say Terrence Crawford. Um, top rank Bob Aram had no interest in negotiating with either one of those. Does that mean they were in negotiations with Manny Pacquiao at that time? We don't know. We'll never know that. But he wasn't interested in negotiating with Porter or Thurman. Two big fights. Much better fights than Cal Brook. He ends up taking the Brook fight. That doesn't help him. After he fought Agivas Kavalakis. These things don't help propel him. You're fighting Agivas Kavalakis and uh, Cal Brook. And Errol Spence is making big pay-per-view bucks fighting Sean Porter and Danny Garcia. See the difference? See the difference? Um, so, no, Crawford's not getting a 50% split. He doesn't He doesn't generate the revenue, the pay-per-view revenue, to demand that. He just doesn't. So, look, if I was Terrence Crawford, here's what I would do. I'd sign a two-fight deal at least with PBC. If I can't get the Pacquiao fight, if Bob Aaron can deliver me this Pacquiao fight, which I don't think he can for a second, I don't think that's happening. I don't think Pacquiao is fighting any more le legitimate welterweights. He's not fighting Thurman again. He's not fighting Spence. He's not fighting Pacquiao. He's not fighting Mikey Garcia. He's not fighting Danny Garcia. He's not fighting any of those guys. Okay? He's fighting Conor McGregor and, and, and things like that if he fights again. He's not fighting these names. Okay? So I don't think he's fighting Terrence Crawford. I don't think it's Crawford's fault. I think it's Pacquiao is done with that with, with boxing for the most part. He's going to have fights with Conor McGregor and sideshows like that. Um, so the best bet I think for Crawford would be to sign a two-fight deal with PBC. Take the Thurman fight, 
take the Porter fight. Fight one of those guys. Try to put up a good pay-per-view number, 300000 Try to match what Spence has done. Let Fox and Al Heyman and PBC promote that thing, advertise it, and try to get to that number. And you're going to have to sell it yourself. You're going to have to sell it too. And I know that's not his personality, but it wasn't Spence's, and now it is. Right? It's like, well, do you want to make money? If not, that's fine. But then you can't if you don't, if you don't care about the money, which is insane to me. That's fine. But then you can't demand a 50-50 split with a guy who outsells you. It's not reasonable. Even if you're better than that guy, and we can get into the fight, who it's a great fight. I would lean towards Terrence Crawford, right? And Spence is my boy. He's on the wall. Um so <laughs> I'm not hating on Spence. I love Spence. I think Crawford beats him, right? So I think Crawford's better, but he's not the biggest draw. He's not the biggest seller, so he doesn't get the biggest check. You know? That's just the way it works. Now, if he wants the bigger check, he's got to sell himself. If he doesn't want to sell himself, then he's got to take the, he's got to take the, 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 the smaller share and let Spence take the lion's share. Maybe you beat him, then you can get the lion's share. But right now, that's not how it's going to work. Um, If I were him, I'd, I'd take the fight with... If I can't get the Pacquiao fight, which I don't think he can, I would take a fight with either Porter... But Thurman, sign that quick, it's quick, because you're going to want to fight twice in a year because you ain't getting any younger. So what is this, November, December, January, February, March? I'd shoot for March, try to fight um, Thurman or Porter, and then you turn around, and then you have September, October, something like that, a year from now, you know, 9, 10, 11 months from now, you fight the second fight. Against of your of your two fight deal with PBC, which is Errol Spence, because Errol Spence is going to leave the weight class too, and you would he's going to leave one forty seven at some point. You would imagine in the relatively near future, he's going to leave that weight class. So you don't want to miss that. And I think that's what's going to happen. I don't think we get this fight, and I always want to say we'll get the fight. We'll get the fight. I don't know if we're going to get it now because I don't know what Crawford's going to do. Crawford seems to think he's going to get this Pacquiao fight. He doesn't seem to care much. And I get it. Pacquiao, believe it or not, is a bigger fight for him. Pacquiao will sell the fight. He'll take the B-side. He'll take the 40% and he'll get paid. Spence is going to have to sell it himself. And he doesn't want to do that. And he's not taking a 40% stake in, 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 in the Spence fight because he thinks he's the bigger star, which he's not. And he thinks he's better, which he may be. But being better, which he may be, may not be. Maybe he loses. There's certainly a, a path to victory for Spence, right? Um, maybe Spence beats him. You know, I don't know. But that's that. That's who who's better is irrelevant when we're still talking about pay per view buys. And so is that is the fact that Spence has two more, has another belt, has has two belts, is also irrelevant. That is completely irrelevant. Um, because that's not what makes you a, a, a draw. That's not what makes you a star. Um, who, who has the belt? Canelo had the belt when Mayweather fought him, right? Cotto had the belt when Mayweather fought him. Was he a bigger star than those guys? No. All right? No. So, um, I mean, were Canelo and Cotto bigger stars than Mayweather? No. Did they get a bigger check? No. Because it didn't matter they had the belt. The bigger star was Mayweather. Right? So he got the bigger check. Um, when De La Hoya fought Mayweather, we all knew Mayweather was better at that point and at any point, really. But De La Hoya was the draw at that time. De La Hoya was the cash cow at that time. So De La Hoya got the bigger check. So who's better doesn't make any difference, right? Um, and that's very close, right? Like Crawford and Spencer is, 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 is splitting hairs. Um, but uh, I would lean towards Spence. I mean, I would lean towards Crawford. The, there's no reasonable expectation for, for Crawford to think he's going to get 50-50. If he's not going to fight this fight for less than 50-50, then... I agree with his tweet. This fight's not going to happen because he's not getting 50-50. It's going to be crazy if he did. Now, maybe if he fights Thurman or Porter and puts up a good number, he can go back to the negotiating table and say, look at this number I just did. But it's got to be close to what, what, what it's got to be close to what Spence just did. If you come in significantly low, you can't – if you fight Thurman or you fight Porter and you come up short of 300000 you can't ask for 50-50 because you, you, you're not 50 percent under the draw. It's just the way it is. It's just the reality of the matter. And I want this fight more than anything in the sport. But unless Crawford is willing to take a 40% payday, 40% uh, 
of the, of the purse. Oh, 45. You know what? You could do that. You could do 45. You could do it a different way. You could take 45 from 45 and let the winner take the other 10. I like that idea. Or, you know what I'm saying? Look, 40, each guy gets 45, and the winner gets the other 10%. I, I don't know if who agrees to that, but I, I like that idea. I, I think that's a, a good compromise. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think about that idea. Let me know about if you think Crawford deserves 50-50. If so, explain why. And then explain to me why. If you sold 660 units at one price and somebody else sold it at so 200 at the same price. Why do you think you should split the revenue? You should split the commission in half because that's insane. Uh, let me know what you think. But also like and subscribe. Follow me on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, you can find my article on fightpost.uk. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.